Doug Lowe's. Uh, I work out of the Muncie branch, uh, sell ag equipment mainly. I served in the U.S. Army from 1962 through 1966. Uh, had an honorable discharge. My name is Kevin Massingale, and uh, I work at the Muncie location. Uh, here I've worked in the service department and I'm currently working in the parts department. Uh, I was served in the Air Force. I obtained an E-7 rank, or I'm sorry, E-6 rank, had an E-7 line number. I served from 1979 to 1988, got out with an honorable discharge. I'm Gary Reynolds. I'm uh, chairman of the board here of Reynolds Farm Equipment. Uh, I reside most of my time here at our Atlanta corporate headquarters, but uh, I do get around the other stores. And, and uh, I was very fortunate uh, back in the early 60s, uh, it was the Vietnam era, uh, but I was a sergeant in the Army. Uh, served basic training at Fort Knox, Kentucky, so I protected all of our gold, and then went on to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. My name's Sean Money. I work at the Fishers location. I served in the Army from 85 to 91, and got out at the rank of E5. My name is Nate Rohr. I'm a service advisor here at the Fishers store. I'm a former lieutenant in the United States Army, and I served for seven years. Yeah, my name is Jack Gans. I was in the Army, drafted in 63 to 65, and my rank was PFC. I'm Bob Bott, the Mooresville store manager. I served in the U.S. Army Reserve from 1986 to 1991. I was a combat engineer with a uh, rank of E-5 sergeant. My name's Rick Sloan, I'm a service manager at the London store, and I was in the United States Marine Corps in 78 to 81. I'm stationed at Beaufort, South Carolina at the Air One. Mitch Frazier, CEO of Reynolds Farm Equipment, served active duty from 1998 to 2003 and achieved the rank of sergeant. Uh, it's a, uh, once you're in the service, you uh, have a different look on life, and especially the holidays. Um, it means a lot more to the people that's been in the service and served. To me, uh, it's a day dedicated to remembering people who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Yeah. Memorial Day is a, is a day that we need to recognize all the present service men and women and all the ones that have served in the past and especially the ones that have gave the ultimate sacrifice of their life in the defense of our country and, and of our citizens. Thinking of my friends, I've had any brothers in the service and stuff like that, and you get in touch with some of them, and you just, I mean, it's a brotherhood. I mean, you think of the, the brotherhood. Memorial Day to me is a time to reflect on those brothers and sisters who have served and who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. It's also a wonderful time to reflect on the great blessings that we have by living in a country that understands democracy, that understands the role of service, and understands that it's men and women who put on the uniform every day, who put their lives on the line to make things that we trust every day as part of our lives as Americans to make possible. I did not end up in Vietnam um, uh, like a lot of my friends did, and. Uh, which a lot of them did not come back home. Those were sad years, and be, but they were trying years for the rest of the country. So uh, during that period, uh, it really helped me realize that, uh, you know, the honor of our people that have served, and, and we, we talk about the people that came back home and, and served our country well, but uh, it's a time of the year that I think about all those that never made it back home. Memorial Day is a time where we can remember everyone who has paid the ultimate price for our freedom. It's a celebration of the, of the individuals that gave the ultimate price in support of this country to ensure that we have the freedoms that we do today. Uh, a lot of the people that have never visited a foreign country do not realize the uh, 
freedoms that we that we operate under and have. So uh, to me, it's just a celebration to those that gave their lives for us to have these freedoms. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.